All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the wild, and welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk about uh, photographic uh, preparedness in uh, this case with these two fellas in uh, this beautiful British Columbia location. Would you look at this place? It's ridiculous. It's uh, a fantastic spot to take pictures uh, of scenery, of wildlife. It's windy today, um, but it's great. I mean, we get uh, some peaks, uh, we get uh, some water, and we get some uh, other stuff in this incredible location. There's a little bit of noise, of course, and uh, don't mind the shoes. Uh, I don't know. They were here. Anyways, we're here with Orsaman 612 SW Super Wide mounting a 45 millimeter Rodenstock Apograndagon with a center filter with two and a half stops uh, of uh, uh, darkening effect. Uh, right next to this, we got a Z9 with 400 millimeter F 4.5 S with a teleconverter 1.4 mounted on it. Why such an extreme uh, pairing? While, duh, I mean, it's self-explanatory. This is a panoramic camera because, hello, hello. I mean, don't you want to shoot a panoramic scene of anything that you see around here? Yes, of course. Don't you want to shoot that with film? Oh, uh, duh, you want to shoot that with film. That is your portable choice. That is the perfect piece of gear to bring with you because it's light, it's compact, it's ultra wide, it's super reliable, it's going to work in freezing condition like as now and it's uh, one of the best uh, looking camera to have lugging around your neck. And I mean, of course, uh, the results are spectacular if you can use it properly or if you will use it properly. Anyways, next to that, you have the Z9 Pinnacle of uh, Nikon uh, technology for mirrorless cameras and uh, sporting a 400 millimeter with the teleconverter mounted on it. That is a beast. So it's pretty big compared to the Horseman, but in this case, this is capable of producing some stunning little, little details. Maybe with a bird, you know, somewhere right there, or maybe right there. There's everything here. There's kingfishers, bald eagles, uh, northern harrier, uh, herons, like everything. It's here. Bears, of course, you have large mammals as well. It's, I mean, it's uh, literally into the wild. I mean, at the end of this trail right over here, there's no public access. You cannot go there. It's too dangerous. You're going to get lost. And if you get lost right there, it's yeah going to be a problem because there's nobody that is going to be able to help you. So get your sandwich and get your water, right? Anyways, so these two things, very different. Uh, you can do panoramic, uh, amazing, stunning shots on film with this guy. And the pff, ridiculous bird shot, of course, setting properly. This camera is key and you can do some amazing stuff. But why you bring the two? Because you have a British Columbia scenery, which in this case, you get a little bit of clouds here. You see? A little bit of clouds there, but kind of boring for panoramic shot. I mean, imagine a panoramic shot like that. Yeah, it's clean, maybe too clean. I like the light. So this light is perfect for burning. That's why you get this bad boy out of the case and you get it out to rock and roll because you're going to get something here for sure. Just be prepared. Or you don't know, this is again British Columbia, you're going to get some wild clouds showing up and bursting the uh, sky in half an hour, one hour, it's going to start raining. Of course, it's crazy. So be prepared so you can use either or. And a piece of kit like this is perfect. If you spot like a panoramic shot like this, for example, or if you spot like a bald eagle up there, you have the right tool in the right place. So the key is to show up. So just show up 
and show up in time. You see, the sun just coming out, so you need to know your location. You need to know where the sun is going to come out, what time is going to come out, because you need to consider this thing. This is the horizon, sure, but what about this mountain? How long is it going to take to actually show up and light up the scene so you can take some gorgeous uh, uh, shots of the birds that you're going to find, or even, like, you know, of course, the landscape. So know the place, know the time, know your gear, and uh, be prepared uh, photographically. This is the photographic preparedness uh, that you do uh, to shoot panel, to shoot birds. This is what I do, I mean. But uh, just a suggestion to uh, take out your gear into the wild because it's a beautiful place to be photographed. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.